either of the ICP guys? No, I didn't. You know, we c like I got um, you know we could have got backstage passes from Razor Cake or whatever, and um, you know because they're really open to like media. Um, there wasn't any there at the time, and since then, you know, we went right. We knew it was time to go right to miracles, and since then, they've become very hostile towards media, the jugglers themselves. But uh, Psychopathic Records, we were um, was really into it, and we were really some of the only journalists out there. But we didn't. I don't know. Like I read Violent J's biography. I break some of that down, but that's not who we were trying to write about. And I f still feel like I made the right decision because I was there to write about the Juggalos, and I, you know, they didn't interest me at the time. Like, I think ICP is kind of grosses me out. Um, but in retrospect, I think it really would have, like, kind of hurt the story the more I, I spoke to them, you know, because I kind of, like, got what the Juggalos are about, so. Um, but yeah, we didn't talk to them. The guy was just walking around with no security on acid. Tripping balls. <laughs> Tripping <laughs> fucking balls. All night. He passed him over and over again. Tom Green came up to him and was like, dude, you're my hero, and asked him a question, and he's all like, he's got a microphone, and he's all like, how you doing? He's like, good till you got here, man. So, <laughs> that happened. That, that totally happened. Um, so Tom Green had no security either. He's just mixing about the Joe Yeah, they love Tom Green. Yeah. They don't like certain people and like other people. Who's Tom Green? He's a guy that, on MTV that had that kind of reality. Well, that uh, show, that comedy TV show TV. where you do really, really outrageous stuff. Yeah. He's like harassing people. And humping like dead deers and stuff. Like yeah, that. it's pretty unintellectual. Okay. So are there just like a bunch of weird celebrities who go to the Dark Carnival who aren't necessarily juggalos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kinds yep. of rappers and comedians go. It's like a big deal. Like, they yeah. get paid quite a bit of money to go out there. A lot of them find out where they're going and just bolt, you know. Like, I didn't get to see Slick Rick. <laughs> I was really disappointed. Spice One just dropped the fuck off the bill. Um, and um, then, you know, Method Man and Red Man were there, and you might say, they fucked up. And they got, like, like or shit thrown at him, and that man's head got broken open. And, oh, yeah. Dang. The what? Huh? What? Why did they, why did people throw stuff at I them? don't entirely know. I think it might have been because they were too mainstream. Oh. Um, a lot of the jugglers weren't down with them, but, like, were enjoying the show, but a lot were like, fuck that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it also, they fucked up really bad. Like, they were like, what up, Illinois? And they were like, nobody there was from Illinois. <laughs> like, they didn't know where they were. And so they were like, you know, and people were just like, dude, fuck you, <laughs> you know, like, because they were like, you know, like, they kept shouting, family, and they're like, so stoned, they're just baked, you know, and they're just like, what, family, what are they saying? Red Man's like, family, it's just like, fuck family, this is about hip hop. And like, you know, okay. all this stuff, and there's this like, there's this like, split in the crowd, and it was really kind of an intense drama, and I don't know, Method Man really, like, you know, did the whole set with his head, head bleeding, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Didn't they dance play, or was it just rapper? Yeah, I like some new metal bands, or like, you know, kind of like 90s. It's, a lot of the stuff is from like ICP's time, so they'll have a lot of washed up bands from that time, um, but like, yeah, like, you know, bands like Kitty or whatever, you know, oh, yeah. but not a lot of like, not all, mostly rappers, a lot of real underground rappers, like that are underground wicked shit rappers that are just, you know, here's your chance to shine. Do you, where does the age kind of top out for also, and then do they bring their kids? Like, is there was a there was yeah. a few kids, and it was particularly disturbing. Um, <laughs> uh, the face paint on? Uh, I don't remember the, the one in the the one that was at the. I don't know. I don't want to describe everything that happened, but like there were some of them should have been better parented. I I don't really know. As, mm -hmm. But um, I. Uh, 
but not tons of kids. Kind not of. tons of kids. Okay. The, I would say it tops out at like late 30s, okay. mid to late 30s, because, um, and those are kind of like the old school, because mm -hmm. I think that like ICP is in their 40s, so like early 40s as of now. So, um, and then there's a whole, of course, a whole lot of like 15 year old juggalos, because, you know, like who that probably might, might not stick around or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always figured the kind of gang thing was kind of like, I didn't want to take too seriously when I heard about them, but I mean, did you see like any guns or anything like that? Or? Oh no, there's no guns. I figured, you know. Um, there's, uh, um, it, I guess you know, as far as the gang thing goes, it's like, they're not, they're unorganized. So if you define, you know, the way, you know, like you talk to any gang, they're going to say they're, they're a family, like, so I guess if you want to call them a gang, um, it's how you define gang, but you know, as far as like being unorganized criminal criminals, they certainly aren't like a gang that's like moving weight. You know, <laughs> they, might, they might be. You know, like some people say that like you know, like most gangs say they're a family, and so like I would say that they're not a gang, but it's depending how you define it. It's like some dude's like selling weed somewhere and he's wearing face paint and he gets arrested like, oh, it's a gang. There's like he's part of I don't think they're a gang. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to say they're a gang, but um, by any means. No, I think that they're, um, you know, like, yeah, they're people that are trying to take care of each other and um, they should be left alone, you know. Um, 